Strychnine, I had given it to a patient, recall, who had post hanging, you know, partial hanging didn't expire, and there's a lot of contraction in the muscle. Strychnine helps, not completely, I'll say, but helps as a muscle relaxant. So, it could be other causes as well, but most common cause is post cerebral stroke. She is the next patient, age 23. Report to the her. A diagnosed case of fibroadenoma of the breast with fibroadenosis. They had, she had that in the left breast initially, which they got it operated. Left breast initially, which they got it operated, now came back in both the breasts. Initially was in the left breast, got it operated, came back in both the breasts. <coughs> Pain is of a throbbing character, which is worse in new moon and full moon. Both the breast has the pain. She feels pain better on lying down. So that's her major complaint, the breast pain and the breast tenderness. She is very irritable, hits her own head on the wall, pulls her hair, hurts herself. Taken sleeping pills once, tried to commit suicide previously whenever she is irritable. Stubborn, very fearful, fear of dark, ghost, thunderstorm. Vermilion allergy, vermilion you know is the uh, sindur, an allergy to that causing itching and swelling. Motion sickness plus plus. She is thirstless. She likes salty boiled eggs. Salty boiled eggs. Breast opera operation was done in 2021. Six to seven months later, it came back in both the breasts. She sometimes gets feverish with the breast pain. This is her last USG finding of the breast. <coughs> I started in this case. She was trying to conceive when she came to me. I've seen seeing her from April. She's two months pregnant now. April started with Calcary IOD 200C. Happy? Why Calcary IOD? Hot? So hot glands, these are salty egg. What else? Fearful. Fear. Anything else? Stubborn. Stubborn. Moon aggravation. Good. New moon, full moon aggravation. 200, 1M. No change. No change. Not 200, 1M. This was when we started, because she was not pregnant then. 200, 1M, there was no change. You see, many times it can happen. You started with the calcarea. But you see, if you closely observe throbbing pain, irritable, pulls her hair, irritable, pulls her hair, very stubborn, 
ये व्यक्ति इरिटेबल पुलसर है वेरी स्टबन इवन हिट्स सो एग्रेसिव Calcarea like symptoms, but it didn't help. Always can belladonna can come up in such a case, and belladonna and calcarea is complementary. So it's not always you have to start with belladonna, go to calcarea. You start with calcarea. Calcarea was a good choice, but perhaps it was not the indicated remedy in in that stage. But she's pregnant. No, this is after the belladonna. After the belladonna. Right. I saw in April. April calcarea 200. May 1m. There was no change. Came back in September. I went to a belladonna 200 C, right? Throbbing pains of belladonna with the irritability, with the aggression, with the destructiveness. And you know, belladonna can pull her hair, pulling her own hair. And belladonna is self-destructive, so hitting her own head on the wall, right? So perhaps belladonna was indicated at first. I made a mistake. I need calcarea later on to finish up. But belladonna is helping now because her temperament. Corroborates with belladonna much better than calcarea. Calcarea won't be aggressive and self-destructive. You understand what I mean? We can consider all calcarean group um, uh, uh, complementary to belladonna because here is very good. It's only about cal 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 I will say you know it works well with all calcareas. To be honest, yeah. calcarea carb, calcarea iod. I will say definitely, but uh, even with other calcareas, it works very well as a follow-up or a complementary. Right? But it mostly, obviously, it's mentioned borica or calcap. But I will say calcaiod also. It's a very good complementary remedy to it. Okay. So you understood belladonna. Why? Why not calcaiod? Because of the irritability of the pulling our own hair and off. And I will add a better word here: is self-destructive. That's one of the features of belladonna, which is not there at all with calcaria. You understand? And with belladonna, she has conceived. Right? She is trying. The breast pain, vermilion allergy. Uh, you know what they use for the vermilion is generally mercury. Generally, previously they used to, right? This is also a clinical tip which I have learned. Merc sulf works wonderfully for cases of vermilion allergy. Put that in your clinical tips. If you come across cases of vermilion allergy, merc sulf, mercurial sulfide. Works wonderfully for cases of vermilion allergy with itching, and the sulfur component will help with the itching. Merc sulf for cases of vermilion allergy. <coughs> We are boosting today as pain, breast pain is much much better. But again, you understand, it's a it's a play of complementary remedies. Whether or not probably will help, but I will need calcarea out to completely remove the glandular tendency. Because she got operated, it again came back. Belladonna won't have the depth to completely remove it. You understand what I mean? Hopefully it does, but it may not. And again, calcarea may be needed later on to come back. When her temperament is cooled down with belladonna, her rage and anger is better with belladonna. Perhaps we'll move on to calcaiod after that. Right? Boosting today.